Back to AM Buffalo. Well, as we talk about New Year's resolutions and think about how we are going to make a change in 2019, there's one local not-for-profit organization that's focused on improving emotional health and wellness in the new year. Now, joining us from Endeavor Health Services is Chief Executive Officer Elizabeth Morrow. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yes, it's good to see you. You too. Thank you for having me here. It's amazing to think about, but approximately one in five U.S. adults suffer from a mental health illness. It's, it's so hard to believe. True, and it can be a bit overwhelming, those numbers, and still very hidden or not talked about enough, part of, part of why it's good to be here today. Mm -hmm. And, and with, with the new year, it's time to think about our goals for 2019. And some of us may, may think about improving their mental health and mm -hmm. focusing on themselves, and that's right. where you can help. Right. Um, one of the new phrases, really, that um, our field is using is about connecting the head to the body. And so um, really encouraging everybody to do that more and think about their mental health, their emotional health, their wellness, talk about it more. Um, our agency, Endeavor Health Services, that's what we do. Um, we've been doing that for almost 40 years now, and it is really taking that whole person, not just the physical health, but the, the mental health, um, looking at any addictions, family systems, mm -hmm peers, all that sort of stuff, and really helping people to have a more um, healthy, rounded, fulfilled life. Liz, let's talk about some of the services mm -hmm. that you provide. Okay, so we have um, licensed clinical social workers, mental health counselors, psychiatrists, nurse practitioners, nurses. So we do standard individual counseling. We work with addiction. We work with families. We work with couples, um, specialize in gerontology, um, and the whole gamut of medication-assisted treatment, if needed. Um, social supports, we can, uh, we have a non four walls design so we can go out and about into the community and offer skill building and peer support, um, telepsychiatry now, which is a whole brave new world of being able to reach people right in their homes um, oh, via nice. cameras and, mm -hmm. and things like mm -hmm. that and offer um, psychiatry or, or supportive counseling. Um, so you name it, we do it for the whole lifespan. Throughout the year, how many Western New Yorkers have you helped in total? I'm sure it's a big number from all the services that you it offer. It is. It's well over 5,000 with wow. over 50,000 visits mm -hmm. um, just in this past year, and we're growing. And our big, uh, our big news now is really um, collaborating and partnering with Primary Care because because that partnership, again, connects the head to the body, and then we're able to really focus on whole health and bring our expertise in behavioral health to help support um, everything that the primary care doctors are doing in the community. So um, the other really great thing we're doing is um, an IPA, Independent Practice Association, and we're a founding member with um, Horizon Health Services, Spectrum, Health and Human Services, and Best Self, and that's all behavioral health organizations to partner with primary care and other health care providers. I personally have been um, affected. Someone who I love has been uh, suffering from a mental health illness. So I've been touched. I know a lot of people here in Western New York and all over the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's hard. It, it's difficult not to know someone who hasn't been touched by this. Right. So just say you go to the doctor mm -hmm. and you are suffering from a mental health illness. Mm -hmm. This is something that you can bring up to your primary care physician. Absolutely. You can talk to them. Absolutely. And, and t strongly encouraging people too. like don't just go in because you got hip pain or back pain or things like that, although you should for that as well. But talk to your doctor. They have screening tools now. There's been a big focus on working with primary care on screening tools for depression, anxiety, stress. Stress mm -hmm. is a huge um, disruptor in our lives that we don't take into account enough. And stress can affect you in so many ways, not just your mental yes. health, your, yes. your body as a whole. Totally linked to physical health. So when mm -hmm. we look at heart disease, cardiovascular disease, the number one you know, health issue I think that Americans struggle with, when you look at emotional health and stress and how that plays into it, it's linked. You can't separate them. So as healthcare providers, we shouldn't be separated either. So talk to your primary care doctors. They, they have the screening tools. They know how to reach us. We're embedded in a lot of primary care practices or they partner and spend some time at our locations now. Um, it's a good thing. Liz, you're, you're a not-for-profit yep. organization. So how can Western New Yorkers give back and help you help others? I would say spread the word. Spread the word about um, the importance of mental health and addiction treatment in our communities. When we have fundraising events, you know, obviously support us. But the biggest thing is to be talking about it, to, to realize that this type and um, level of health care is critical and needed and to support it in our community.
Any plans for 2019? What can oh, we look forward to? Absolutely. Well, we're continuing to grow. We're renovating our locations. Um, we have a great partnership going with Primary Care um, with the whole project with Your Care and g -Bon. So keep an eye out on that where we're partnering with mm -hmm. more primary care clinics. The IPA Value Network, that's growing and expanding. Um, and we're also a CCBHC, which is a Certified Community Behavioral Health Clinic, which is a national demonstration pilot. Um, and we're one of 13 in the state. And um, that provides holistic services to the whole community. Well, Liz, thank you so much for joining thank us you. here on AM <laughs> Buffalo. Talking to a lot of different people, it's difficult not to find someone who has been affected by mental health illness in some way. So whether it's a family member or a friend, here's a way to help them. Now for more information on Endeavor Health Services, visit them at mid-erie.org or give them a call at 895-6700. And we'll be right back after the break.